Good evening, folks. I'm here with two of my friends from the Central American Health Science, Health Science University. University. Right. Yes, we are here to promote um, the uh, intake and taking local people. So, not only foreigners can come and study here, but we have we have smart Belizean people, right? Nice. Man or woman, right? Right. And we want to bring up our cameraman, Mr. Chibos, the bed sore specialist. <laughs> So he's our cameraman today doing the video. But um, we're here to promote this uh, medical university. Right. Several students graduate from here who are now doctors, right? Yeah, that's correct, correct. One of my friends who is a Jamaican, Mr. Oren. Yeah, yeah. He's a practicing doctor in Jamaica, Jamaica now, correct. right from this that's university. Mm -hmm. Tell us more. Okay, well, to start with, um, we have been operational. Um, for the past 28 years here in Belize. Mm -hmm. Cash okay. Open, we got chartered in 1996. Um, we opened our doors in 1997 and have been one of the outstanding medical universities since um, we are a four and a half year program. Now, just let me plug in because mm -hmm. some people might say, oh, but four and a half years for medicine, that's how, how come it's so short? Right. Because we accept students that are already um, have got obtained their pre-medical Degree, um, courses. courses, right? So they would have done a year of pre med. Yes, yes. Um, well, then once they have done somewhere else, they right. can finish yes. it here. So, somewhere else, like, uh, say if they take um, nursing, mm. if they have taken biology or any type of the sciences at um, sixth form, so any associate degree in, in sciences oh, wow. would afford them admissions yes. into Casho. Good. And that's correct. And um, of all the premises that the student come with, once they have those, then we accept them into our program. Of course, you have to fill the application form and send in the required documents, such as your, um, of course, we believe your transcript from your previous institution to crash check if indeed mm -hmm. you have completed all the pre-med courses. And then from there, we send your, once the application is filled and your required documents are submitted, we um, vet it and then we send it to our um, admission committee for it to be further vetted and evaluated. And then once you meet the requirements for cash, then we send you your, your acceptance letter and from there we start your course. So interesting. So if one day they said they want to be a doctor, you can apply? No, you have to have a pre-med course. It's not so easy. Oh, all right. Yes. Anyway, then that's what the pre-med course is. <laughs> you need a big fish, right? But you um, have a big fish certified. <laughs> yes. 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 So you must have your valid certification yes. Yes. to be accepted yes. here. Correct. Correct. How many Belizeans have graduated from here so far? We have over... over Belizeans, I'm talking Belizeans, about. Belizeans, Belizeans. Tell us how many. Over 25 Belizeans have graduated. Male and female. Male and female. And there are, and there are different working. health centers yes, and correct. hospitals in Belize. Chow, Chow, Belize, we have um, down south. Mm -hmm. um, we have a uh, doctor working down south. Um, we also have quite a few of the doctors in the KHMH. Mm -hmm. um, we studied right here? Yes. yes. studied right from here. So then this thing, this American. thing, I don't need to go to the States or Cuba or Mexico no, no. or Guatemala. No. We studied right from my own country yes. and get certified. Yes. And be a full-fledged yes, doctor. Right. Yes. What, what our program does, um, well, what we what we have, there's two parts to the medical program. Mm -hmm. You have the basic sciences, which are what we call, like everybody know as the um, in class. So you come, come, come to mm -hmm. Belize at this facility mm -hmm. for two years, and then you do all your 46 courses. Once you've completed those and um, passed with 75 and above, then you move into the second phase, which is your clinical rotation. Right? Um, those right are in Belize or outside of Belize? Currently, um, they are outside of Belize. They're outside of Belize. Currently, um, they are outside of Belize. Okay. As to what the school is aware, um, Belize have not authorized or granted permission for Belizeans to practice rotations in the country of Belize. Okay. Right? So, um, well, the experience abroad is even better. Yes, yes. yes. that's correct. correct. Right? So, yeah. you can. Get the culture of different people and you know how right. things in other places. Right, and then um, so once they engage, that's 124 weeks worth of clinical rotations. Mm -hmm. Once they engage in that, they complete all of those rotations satisfactory, 77 and above again. Mm -hmm. Then um, they become um, candidates for graduation, which then they we award them a degree as doctor of medicine. Wow. You now for them to practice, they have to 
go to whichever if it's a Belizean, um, they have to go to the medical council, the Belize mm -hmm. medical council, and then and apply, apply for their licenses and all that. Yes, correct. So they meet the requirements. We get outside. them all the way. There. Ninety-five percent to the point. Yes, yes. Correct. Excellent, excellent. And just to elaborate a little bit more, Keisha had said when it comes to our clinical rotation program, that also is um, in two. We have our core rotations, which is consists of our from the medicine, internal medicine, um, gyne, pediatric, surgery, yes. and psychiatry. So those core rotations. So these are taught right there. No, those are clinical rotations. Oh, 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 of elective rotations, right? So that is the like your discretion about elective you choose. However, the courts are mandatory, the electives are your choice, what you want to do. So when you hear that Belizeans and we're going to studies right after be doctor right now in one country, okay. we're not to go to Cuba. I said, Ma, I need food because the food no good there. <laughs> you go, when you're done so, you go home down the house. Right, right there, Belizean. Right, yes. No, the thing is, can Belizeans afford it? Yes. Um, actually, for this. Um, September intake, mm -hmm. we are actually um, offering a low tuition rate. So um, we'll drop the, we'll drop the, the yes. cost. Yes, we for, this, for, for this our own people. We will look at people. Significantly. See, I can't. All right, spell the spell. Explain to me what you significantly. We take off for five hundred dollars off for the cost. We take off ten. We take off of it. Well, um. We significantly, significantly <laughs> speaking, uh -huh. um, what what our regular tuition is, we are um, prepared to offer students hundred percent tuition scholarship. We wow. also prepared to offer them fifty percent tuition scholarships, and this is um, where we are. Once you submit application, we're looking at your um, economical status right. to see, you know, if it's something that you qualify, mm -hmm. but say you don't have the means, then we're prepared to offer our Belizeans uh, full tuition scholarship. The only thing that we are insisting that they would need to um, pay would be the registration mm -hmm. fees, right? But we are prepared to waive matriculation and we're prepared to waive. So that's a big significant decrease in food. Very yeah. Yeah. And yes. or, go ahead, Mr. No. no, I was just saying that this is something that the university, you know, because again, we are, we've been here so long, we wanted to do a give back as well to our community. Mm. Just may that that Switch down. Yes. Why don't we decide to do it and do it for locals? Right. We we definitely want to. We we are on our twenty eighth um, year of, mm -hmm. of having our medical school here in Belize, and as well, you know, um, what better way to give back than to help those that you know are deserving of a degree but cannot love afford it. it right? Love so, it. Love it. Yeah. Love and it. just to mention about the panel, Ms. Kishet, um, our courses consist of six trimesters of basic science. So. Our trimesters are from January to April, that's our spring trimester, and our summer trimester run from May to August, and then from September to December. So for, for those students who receive this scholarship and are only required to pay for the registration, it will only be at the beginning of each semester, which will be for January, um, May, May, and of course, our fall trimester, which will be starting in September. So only those three parents will be required for those who receive the full scholarship mm -hmm. for the year. What is the payment? What are the costs of that particular payment? Our registration payment is 250 USD for the trimester. No bad at all? 500 minutes? Yeah. That's correct. And then I'll be a doctor, I look like back in a one consultation. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I understand you guys have students who are doing um, internship outside. Tell us where they are. Okay, well, it's actually graduates. We have our graduates. Oh, graduates. Yes, yes, they yes. have completed. So we have um, graduates that are practicing in Saudi Arabia, in Nepal, in Nigeria, in India, in um, Mexico. Mexico. Let's not forget Belize. Yes, Billy, I was saving the best for last. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. um, we also have Australia and UK. Okay. Yes. Graduate Who graduate. studied right here? Who studied at this, right here. Right there, right there in home. The only one that was there, there past students? Yes. Uh, our the two on the, at the end are wow. our actual graduates. Um, this actually he this young, man. this young man is Dr. Griffith. He's teaching with us, and he he had posed for us at the time, but oh, now really? he is a doctor. Yes. He went to Taiwan to practice. So wow. She was a model. All right. <laughs> then I'm <a> model. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so continue then, tell us. <laughs> yeah, so if there is anyone who um, who is interested in our program, you guys can reach out to us at admissions at akashu, that's C-A-H-S-U, um, that edu, that bz, or you can also WhatsApp us at 622-5757. Explain to them what kashu means because... We people is a cashew. Okay, so they think cashew fresh. <laughs> they <laughs> think cashew seed. They no, think cashew right. wine. Right. Tell them what cashew stands for. Cashew actually stands for Central America Health Sciences University, also known as Belize Medical College. We're going to talk about wine. Right. <laughs> this one wine you up into a exactly. Caribbean. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Wine into Most a definitely. Yeah. All right. And every parent wants their child to be successful, and no matter what they tell you, can't do it. Exactly. Because. We believe people like me dream killers. Yeah. Oh, you can't do that. Who, who said you can't do it? I want to be a doctor. You could be a doctor. Exactly. And right, right? what better place than right here in your own country? Right in your own country, yeah. and you get to go home to your house to eat your food. Most definitely. Because I hear horror stories of people who saw that Cuba and have to eat potato. Oh <laughs> rice. Go and go eat your fries. I can't still be. Exactly. <laughs> so you have the luxury yes. and the comfort of studying right. in your own country. Correct. And in your house, come back home, go back to school, and do your thing. Yeah, and just right? to mention also, if there is anyone who lives out of the, the district of Belize, that maybe you live in Belmopan, or if you mm. don't want to travel far, we also have agreements with um, housing in the Los Lagos okay. community, where right. our, our foreign students currently reside as well. Right, right? and we did have a We're going transportation too, right? Yes, we, we bring we them from, from Los Lagos, Lagos to, here. to the university, and then we take them back also. Alright, so anyway, part of the video today, or we draw up to Razal Benke, the picnic one be a doctor, it could be a doctor right here in Belize. Yes. Alright, thanks to these wonderful people and all the professors and professors, all the teachers are from where? Right, right. Um, right here in Belize. Um, right you have different um, different ethnicity, mm -hmm. but all of them are licensed practicing physicians yes. here in Belize. Alright. Um, and that's one of the things that, you know, we want to be able to afford our graduates, our students with different opportunities. So we actually um, are, we have submitted our application with the CAMHP, which is, mm -hmm. stands for, for it's <laughs> our <laughs> Caribbean Accreditation yes. Authority for Education in Medicine and other health Perfection. professions, right? So there, they, this um, accrediting body is uh is from the caribbean and then what this does is they afford the um the graduates in in to be able to practice if they want to go to the u.s mm -hmm. to be licensed they go and they sit the um u.s MLE exams mm -hmm. to be yes, if they want to go to practice in um say uk for example they're able to sit the club exams and then they're, they they can gain licensure or if they want to even go to canada it's also um recognized with the Canadian Medical Authorities to sit their MCCQE examinations. So you guys actually opened the door for people's careers right here? Yes. Right here? Yes. All right, and they step into this facility and the world is there for them to come by? Yes, correct. All right. Any final comments? Take advantage of our promotion that we have for our business. Is there a contact number beside the email and thing? Yes, website? we have our WhatsApp number. Tell me the number. 6225757. Want to be a doctor? What number for call? 6225757. Or you can call the office at 225-4502 or 664-4502. Tell me about the um, significant thing that happened to the apply. Remember, this for this September 2024 trimester, mm -hmm. you have the opportunity to pay absolutely almost next to nothing. Um, for your opportunity to become a medical physician, right? So we want to, and I think my departing words would be that we know that um, you have choices, you have um, different universities around the world. Kashu is no different. We might not be a facility that, you know, um, that has all of these big elaborate- Not John Hopkins. Right, right, right. not John Hopkins. Not Harvard. The but the information and the value, when you say they put here, yep. they can't That's take out it. And they put good things here at this facility. Yes, and it's good enough because, like we said, we have graduates that mm -hmm. are functioning, that are taking care of our business. And, and I, know, I know one of them, I know Oren, and mm -hmm. I see him out there in Jamaica doing He's a good doing thing. Good things, so. And well respected, yes. by the way, too. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And our graduates hold good positions within the medical. Yes, yes. well. So.
Well, for you guys, man, I tell you, dream makers are not dream breakers. I'm sorry to that. Exactly. 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 All right, so we're we'll going to wrap up then. I'm um, going to say thank you guys. Remember now, call the number. What's up number? The WhatsApp number is 622-5757. Parents, don't kill your parents to pick the dream. They can still be a doctor right in Belize. Yeah. All right, we're gone. Thank you.